Hi, my name is Deb Johnston and welcome to Women Reinventing Midlife TV, where we aim to inspire women over 50 to thrive in a meaningful life that you deeply desire and deserve. And today I'm going to be showing you some simple eye movements to help relieve anxiety because anxiety can be something that many women suffer with, especially around the menopause period and even after menopause. So whether it's stress or anxiety that you're suffering with, what I'm going to share with you today can help relieve that. So eye movements were researched quite a lot by the founders of NLP, Richard Bandler and John Grinder, and also by Robert Diltz, another expert in NLP. And what they found were that the way we use our eyes or the way we move our eyes directly correlates to the senses that we're accessing at the time, whether it's visual, whether it's auditory, whether it's kinesthetic, or whether it's auditor, auditory digital, which is our internal dialogue, our self-talk. So what really happens is normally happens when we're suffering with anxiety is we develop a bit of a synesthesia between the kinesthetic sense and that internal dialogue. And we create a bit of a cycle that it's quite difficult to break out of once it starts. What we're telling ourselves about whatever it is that we're worrying about causes us to feel anxiety. The anxiety helps amp, amp up that internal dialogue even more and creates a bit of a cycle. So what I'm going to share with you today is going to show you how you can break that cycle, how you can break the trigger. When we're stuck in anxiety or when we're stuck in stress, it's generally that we're looking down here. We're looking down. We're looking down at our kinesthetic. We're looking down into our internal dialogue. This is where those two senses are. They're looking down. And if you go out on a morning walk, you will notice that sometimes you'll see people who are looking down when they're walking and they don't look very happy. It's a real indication of what's going on internally for them. So always be aware of where your eyes are when you feel anxiety or if ever you feel stressed or anxious in any way. So if you're feeling stress or anxiety, what I'm gonna share with you now, make sure you're not doing it if you're driving, make sure you're not operating any kind of machinery at all with what I'm gonna share with you now. So first thing, number one is breath. One, one thing we always forget when we're feeling anxious is our breath, what we're doing with our breath. We tend to breathe a bit shallow. So begin with taking three deep breaths in and a nice sigh out. I call it a clearing breath. Nice deep breath in and a sigh out. Just clear it out, let it all out. And then move your eyes up. So when you move your eyes up, and what I mean by this is your eyes, not your head. So your head is staying exactly where it is and your eyes are rolling up. You can even do this with your eyes closed if you wear contact lenses like me. So you're rolling your eyeballs upwards to focus on a spot just above eye level. As you do this, you're moving your eyes into the visual component of your senses, the visual. You're moving away from the feeling up into the visual. So keep focusing on that visual and keep breathing. Nice deep breaths. Making sure that you're expanding your abdomen as you're breathing in so that you know they're really nice deep breaths. Check in with your posture because when we're stressed or anxious, we generally don't have that good a posture. We're normally hunched over. So really check in with your posture. You know, bring your shoulders back and relax them down and keep looking at that spot just above eye level. And nice deep breaths. Now become aware of the space around you because when we're suffering with anxiety, we get quite internal. We go inwards and we really focus on the anxiety. So as you've got your eyes rolled upwards and your shoulders back and down and you're breathing deeply into your lungs, 
start to expand your awareness. So become aware of what's behind you, either side of you and in front of you without even moving your eyes. So they're still focused on that spot just above eye level as you're breathing deeply. And you've got a nice, strong posture. You can do this sitting down or you can do it standing up. Standing up gets the energy moving more. And you'll notice as you do this, your breath slows down all by itself. The levels of anxiety start to lower. You start to feel stronger in yourself. You start to feel the energy moving in your body. And then you can start having a little bit of fun with it. So you've got your eyes up. And I'm going to look at you now. Think about a place that you love to go to that brings you joy or that brings you a sense of peace. Think about a colour that brings you joy or a colour that brings you a sense of peace. For me, yellow brings me joy. Blue brings me that sense of peace and that feeling of freedom. Feels like a big, bright blue sky. Maybe an activity that you really love doing that brings you a sense of fun or joy. And as you have your eyes focused upwards, focus on, an, on that spot just above eye level, start air writing with your eyes the, the, the name of that place or air writing with your eyes the name of that activity or the name of that colour. For me, it's the beach. I love Trinity Beach. So for me, I would air write the word Trinity Beach. So just beginning with one, one letter and then scrolling into the next, just as if you're writing it by hand. Can be tricky, but you can do this as many times as it takes until you really start to feel that stress and anxiety diminishing. And this doesn't have to take a long time. It only takes a few minutes. And then as you feel it diminishing, you can start to shake it out, you know, just start to shake the energy, get the energy moving in your body. Just get it out, get it out, shake it out, get the energy moving, shake your feet, shake your legs, shake your arms, shake your hands. You know, you see sports people doing this, shaking their legs. They're just trying to get the energy moving in their body. You might like to jump up and down, jump on one leg, and you will notice that that feeling of anxiety or stress that you felt before you started has greatly diminished. So before I finish, I want to remind you that if you found this video helpful to subscribe to this channel so you can see more videos like this one and click the bell for notifications so that you don't miss out. Now at the end of the day, what's important to realize is if you're having any symptoms of stress and anxiety, it's important to get in touch with your doctor. Go and get checked out because it, it could be more than anxiety, it could be more than stress. So it's important to get this checked out with a professional. And I encourage you to do that. Um, practicing this, it's a lot of fun. Have a lot of fun with it and noticing how those feelings diminish and I'd love to know what you get from this I'd love to know send me some messages or send me a comment to let me know how this helped you lots of love to you thank you for joining me and I'll look forward to connecting with you next time lots of love bye-bye